welcome back to another Allure Beauty Box unboxing. I think this one is for January. I think. Not 100% certain anymore. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's January. But yeah, anyways. So, we're just going to dive right in. Starting with a letter from the editor. Happy returns. It's good to be back. In my 10 years at Allure, hands down, a favorite part of my job has been cherry picking moisturizers, lipsticks, and more for Beauty Box. When I had my first child, a son named Joey, coincidentally, he has never met a moistur moisturizer jar he couldn't turn into a drum, and paused on Beauty Box for a bit. Now that I'm editing the box again, I can't wait to bring you the latest products Allure editors are obsessing over each month. And if you're if you've you've looked forward to features director Jessica Cruel's letters the way I have, fear not, because you will still be hearing from her too. So let's dive right in, starting with one editor's secret sauce for glowing skin. So, anyways, first thing in here, I think this is full size, even, is the Saturday Skin Rub It Up Refining Peel Gel. I've tried enough peels that left my face burning, so I'm always on the hunt for a gentle one. That's where the Saturday Skin option comes in. It sweeps away dead skin cells with pineapple and contains papaya, which has vitamins A and C to further exfoliate and brighten, says cosmetic chemist Ginger King. It makes my skin appear more radiant, something I desperately need, but the best part might be the application process. As I rub it in circular motions around my face, I can see some dead skin cells coming off along with the product, which is so darn satisfying. A minute later, I splash on a little water, and it looks like I've actually gotten a full, un uninterrupted night of sleep. Price is $28, and you can buy it on Sephora, apparently. I think those are the same active ingredients that are in my e.l.f. one, actually. Which I also got from Elor. Okay, next thing in here is definitely a sample size one of these. Where is it? Where did it go? There it is. Yeah, they show it in like a jar. This is a sample for sure, but can we look at it? Looks cool as shit, right? Yes. Anyway, so this is the L'Occitane Immortelle Reset Huile and Serum. You will receive either the L'Occitane Immortelle Reset Huile and Serum or L'Occitane Immortelle Divine Creme in your box. That's cool. So, full size of this is 59 bucks. The cream would have been 110, but oh well. Anyways, so. I know I should use a serum at night, but I can't stand feeling or smelling it as I'm falling asleep, so I didn't have high hopes for this guy. Then I tried it, and now I see why one bottle is reportedly sold every minute. The formula sinks in quickly, you don't have to worry about it rubbing off on your sheets, and it makes my skin softer and brighter overnight. It contains organic Immortel essential oil, the same key ingredient as the cream version below, but not the same noticeable scent. By the time my head hits the pillow, I'm, I forget I'm wearing this smoothing serum. Yeah, I probably would have preferred the cream. Oh well, it's cool. I like serums. Next thing in here is a fucking coupon for these. It is Maname Stick-On Gels. And price is $15 to $25. This is a valid for up to $30 thing. So, I open beauty products all day long for work, so chip nails were my signature look until I tried these custom fitted gel nail stickers. I uploaded a few photos of my nails to the Manny Me site, selected a butterfly design, and a week later a 15 pack of 3D printed nail stickers arrived at my door. There were five extras in case I botched the application. The stickers were custom printed to fit my nails, they were a little long on my index fingers, so I easily filed away the excess, and applying them was a breeze. I've purchased a handful of designs since, and swear by them for chip-proof manicures that last up to two weeks. But yeah, I mean, like, they're cute, but I feel like we got a little bit chipped this month, not gonna lie. Oh well. Anyway, next product. Keep them moving. Okay. The next one is the True and Luscious Super Moisture Lipstick, which might be full size, but let me look. Yeah, actually, I think it is. That's cool. Let's see the color. Vintage Rose is the shade name. Ooh, all right. Okay, I like that. I had to see if it smelled like roses. It does not. It doesn't smell like anything, not even the lipstick smell. So, okay, let's put it back in the box for now. 
Anywho. It retails for $22. You can get it at truelushes.com. So, my lipsticks had been gathering an impressive layer of dust in recent months until I realized they are the makeup I, in I most enjoy putting on. So I've been building up a collection of new staples like this bullet, which glides on so smoothly that I briefly thought it had started melting. It's packed with hydrating ingredients, including hyaluronic acid, and has a nice dewy finish that I think looks great for all of my Zoom meetings and still not leaving the house selfies. The shade I tried, Vintage Rose, almost perfectly matches my natural light mauve lip color, so I know it will work well on days when I want to go nearly au naturel. In uncertain times like these, it's nice to have something to rely on. Okay. We're almost done, guys. Next in here is the Beauty Crop Blush Duo in Mauvulus. So let's open it up. Take a look at the color. Oh, for some reason I was not expecting a mirror. Holy crap. Okay, let's block that. So, yeah, there's a cream and a powder. Looks awfully dark for me, but we'll see. So, retail price is $10. This may or may not be full-sized, I'm not sure, but I must say it probably is. It's not always easy to find blushes that flatter my complexion, so I tend to lean towards super bright hues. The mauve shades in this duo initially caught me off guard, but after blending them I had a natural looking flush, something I hadn't experienced before from a blush and didn't realize was possible. The Contact's two formulas, a powder and a cream, blend out beautifully. I like using a fluffy brush for the powder and my fingers for the cream. I'll try it, but I don't think that color is going to work on me. And then the last thing in here, in addition to a coupon for that serum, is an itty bitty little beauty blender. It's so cute. This is the Base Blue Air Sponge, which retails for seven freaking dollars, and it looks way bigger in the picture. It's technically a sponge, but this tiny teardrop feels like velvet. The pointed end is perfect for placing concealer in the tiny crevices around my eyes. And then I douse the sponge's tip in water and use it to bounce banana powder banana powder? Banana powder over the concealer for a diffused, not cakey finish. I use the rounded end to apply liquid foundation. Dampening the sponge first makes for a light-handed application, and they are versatile. I've even used the precision end to apply eyeshadow and highlighter on the go. So, let's pop these back in here. Is there something else other than the lipstick that I stuck over here? I don't think so, but yeah, that was what I got in my, I am assuming, January <laughs> lore box. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already, you need to like me, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.